I quit. I quit making music. I quit rapping. This is PFC Rob saying I quit. I've been at this since 2011 and still haven't made any money for myself. I made a lot of money for others though. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Drake stole from me. I'm still in the same place. Drake is rich and successful with my music. Nobody thought he could be a rapper. Then you just give him, give him my songs. And then he's a rapper. Amazing. So many have stolen from me. And they lie about it too. Tyler the Creator, Little Wayne, Ski Mask, XXX Tentaction, Scar Lord, 6 9 Zilla Kami, Little B, just to name a few of the American artists that have stolen from me. Even Ariana Grande and Mac Miller stolen from me. But I'm globally stolen from, such as Girls Day, Girls Generation, BTS, AKB48, CLC, Cran Pop, To Anyone, Big Bang, all stolen from me. It's been kind of fun watching them perform concerts, have a lot of success, win Grammys with my music. Childish Gambino, This Is America, my song, won a lot of Grammys. Kendrick Lamar, won a lot of Grammys with my music. Bruno Mars, did great that year at the Grammys with my song, Finesse. It's been a lot of fun over the years, from Black and Yellow's success with, as Wiz Khalifa stole from me, to OMG by New Jeans. I've had a lot of success as other artists. Pretty bittersweet having to share my success with so many others. The height of my success with my voice on it, with my face on it, was being on the radio. I've probably accomplished more in music than anybody else, though not with my face on it, not with my voice on it. You got Eminem on it, Rap God, stolen from me. That had over a million views on my YouTube. But it has over a billion views on Eminem's YouTube. I've done anime openings and endings, such as Attack on Titan season two end theme. And I was a big fan of Attack on Titan. I remember Rack City being a huge hit. Tyga stole from me. So many of these artists owe all their success to me. And Lil Wayne's new nickname, Toonchi, that comes from me. I redid Lil Wayne's album better than him. And he just stole it from me. Just redoes it himself. Everybody was shocked that the album was redone. I wasn't that shocked. I was kind of shocked. Can't believe he stole it from me. Can't believe he agreed that, that my music's better and redid his album. That was his move. I remember when East Coast was sent to me, wanting beef with me. 
I did a song over it, telling them to call me. And then ASAP Ferg stole that song. So I remixed it and even got Snoop Dogg on the remix, stealing, me, stealing my song. Though I did do that verse with Snoop Dogg in mind. So it's kind of strange when I did some songs and got the artist I wanted on it. I made YBM, Namir, and Corday stars. I made Zyko a star. Hard to believe he stole Vinny Vidi Vici with my name all over it. So did Reddy, another song with my name all over it. And now twice, Moonlight Sunrise with my name all over it. They're still doing it. Hard to believe. But I haven't been famous since 2012, it looks like. I started doing these live video performance videos and the response was crap. Nobody liked it. Turns out it was a mistake to go from my old bike to this. Though this records better, sounds better, looks better. I guess they didn't like my look of being white. I know being white has held me back as a rapper my whole career. Trap music, just stealing from me. That's the trap. PFC Rob, pretty fucking cool Rob. Thought it was a great name until everybody started robbing me, stealing from me. Oh well. As someone said, you're 35 years old and white. It's time to quit rapping. That about sums me up. Though I've had a lot of success. I've made some great songs, such as Broom Howl, In the Light, Ivy, Munching, Call Down, so many big hits that don't get any play. Nobody listens to them. Now, last ditch effort to make this work. I made a SoundCloud. Hopefully, somebody checks it out. PSC Rob. I was the one who said, You're not in this game until you made a thousand songs. And I've had a thousand songs stolen from me. And I've made a thousand songs more after that but nobody listens to them anymore. I lost all everyone's interest doing too much music, too many albums. The songs are still as good as I, they're still just as good even if nobody listens to them. Just another night, another big hit of mine. I went to rehab and made Just Another Night one good song in a year. Worth it, I say. But nobody listens to it, so maybe it wasn't worth it. Oh well, that's not going to change the past. That's not going to make me not stolen from. And now I see them all moving on without me. Stealing from others. Or maybe they finally made up their own music. Who knows?
I bet they hired ghost writers. Now, I don't write rhymes, I write checks. That's not my line. That's some other's line. So I've had a lot of success, won Grammys, VMAs. Not with my name on it, with others' name on it. Made some big hits, not listened to. That's what I always tell people. The hardest part about rapping is getting heard, getting people to listen. I guess I was lucky the first time I got famous. It's hard to get famous twice. Nobody listens to my songs anymore. They listen to it with others on it. I did the, it said the top K-pop song of all time, Girls' Generation G, G, and that's my song. Who can, who can hold Girls' Generation back from doing that, huh? Whatever. So I quit making music. My best songs are behind me. I quit. I've lost my rhythm. I've lost my emotion. I'm not making that screaming metal I used to make that made Zilla Kami famous and Scar Lord. I'm not doing that type of music anymore. I've been more chill. But I can't get any views on YouTube anymore and it's time to get a real job. Time to quit. Time to move on with my life. I hope you still check out my SoundCloud though. Some big hits on there. Though I refuse to pay to have people listen to it. And YouTube is gone away from the person posting. Now it's businesses posting and paying to have them promoted. It's not going to work anymore. Mo Bamba had 4 million views on my YouTube, but it has like 800 million views on Shaq Wes's YouTube. He had a lot more success with it than I did. So it's been fun over the years watching my music be released, watching new girl groups and boy groups doing my songs. But it's over. I'm done making music. I'll just look to my past success and enjoy that. I hope that Old hits like In the Light get noticed. Thanks to any fans that still remain. No, I'm done. I'm getting too old for this. It's a young man's game, music. And I was one of the people that made it that way. So now it's time I quit. Goodbye.